What is up YouTube? Perspective here. Today I've got a couple of Apple products for you. Um, I've got the new iPhone 12 Pro, the MagSafe wallet, and also, not new, but a new addition to my collection, the Nike Pride watch strap, which I think is beautiful. So I hope you enjoy this quick whistle stop tour of these products. Let me know what you think. Cheers. What we've got from right to left is the new iPhone, the MagSafe wallet, and a replacement strap that I've got for my Apple Watch. It's the Nike Pride Edition one, so I'm looking forward to opening that because I've still got the original on there. So I'll start off with the iPhone. I think that's the key bit of kit here. So I actually got it on release day, but my first attempt at making the video didn't go too well. And I've been using it since, and I've got to say that it was slightly underwhelming. I actually jumped from an XS to this phone, and what was the most enticing thing was the fact that it's got the side edges akin to the iPhone 5 design. The ability to actually grip it um, a grip the five at least anyway uh, was a key factor and I really really miss having that although I would say that the actual sides here they're not chamfered so it doesn't have that um, edge to grip it um, but still it's a lot better than the curved edges for me as you can see I've stuck on a little sticker here so yeah it's still way better in, in design for that for me anyway the, the physical sort of grip uh, but I do have to say that compared to the other models it is a massive fingerprint magnet um, I bought a case for it just a uh, one from Amazon um, and I've been keeping it in there since because A to protect it but obviously I'm not one that likes to see fingerprints over my shiny devices I guess and I'm sure that plenty of you are the same. So yeah, uh, physically you know it's a beautiful device, Apple does not let you down in any sort of way and, it's in, and especially the back I would say that is, is quite deceiving. Sometimes it looks a little white, sometimes it looks that, that gold that they have it on the website on. Um, and then in some, well I, I call it champagne gold because I feel as though it has that champagne finish. And the side, I don't have my XS anymore, I had the gold version of that, but um, when I was comparing it side to side, um, I'll, I'll include a little clip of it anyway, but when I was comparing it side to side, I preferred the gold of the XS to be honest, it was a lot deeper, it seemed to be a little richer. Uh, but now that you know I've only got the one phone, it's it's grown on me. I mean, it does look like a very smart device. Paying so much money for it, you'd expect it to have a sort of luxury element to it. So, can't really complain about that. And you know, look how sort of flush and clean everything is. It's it's a nice flat design. I've actually put a screen protector on. And again, you know, new device. I don't want to mess around. But Apple have improved supposedly the screen with a ceramic finish uh, but I just, I just don't want to risk it um, otherwise it would just be uh, completely flush and, and flat so again fantastic piece of kit physically I guess uh, what was most impressive as well compared to the XS was the the camera I mean in terms of everything else there are improvements on speed etc etc everything like for like I didn't really notice anything significantly jump out compared to the XS but except for except for the camera especially in low light I mean I've got a I've got a couple of uh, lenses for my camera and the aperture levels uh, something that aren't really well, at least they didn't used to be achievable on a mobile phone. Whereas um, supposedly on the on these new iPhones, it goes to um, 
uh, f stop of 1.6 and the way that it works is that uh, you get to choose the night mode and then set the the amount of time that the shutter remains open see so here because it detects that it's already light outside it's only allowing me a maximum of one second of exposure so uh, but if it was a low level situation it can go well I've seen it go up to 10 seconds and some of these shots um, I'll try and show you an example from the other day yeah some of these shots I mean that looks fantastic so look uh, the only problem here is, and I'm trying to look up why it's causing it, I've seen it before as well, I guess it's because of the direct light, but here there are um, lens flare issues, so I guess it's going to require some touching up afterwards. But I think quite a few of the iPhones and a couple of Android devices, I think phones in general these days have this problem, it's hard to avoid, and I guess with uh, the number of lenses that keep on increasing as well, there's a chance that these kind of things are going to appear and it's hard to avoid due to the physical aspects. I mean, if you're going to shine a light into some glass, um, some refraction or reflection is is likely to happen. Um, so yeah, it's just a little, a little disappointing, but beyond that, the quality is fantastic. I mean, um, as I mentioned, this is exposed, I think it was uh, two seconds, potentially five, but it's gathering all that light, light and um, here as well, uh, trying to capture the moon. Again, it's picked that up pretty decently. It's captured that pretty decently considering it's from a phone. These, these types of levels of quality from a small device like this are just phenomenal. I mean, even if you look at the, the detail of Windsor Castle there in the back, um, it's a distance away, but it's picked up the details of the, the arches and the lighting there as well. So, for a phone, you just click it, you're just basically pointing and shooting, and uh, I'm just amazed by that. So, beyond the impressive camera, um, for me, jumping from the XS to this, um, wasn't that significant an update to be honest. Um, phones these days, especially um, iPhone who develop their iOS's to be backwards compatible for a, a number of generations. I mean, um, I guess I could have probably waited a generation or two to jump from the XS. But um, it was, as I mentioned, the improvements on the physicalities um, that made me jump ship. Also, I guess, the store storage capacity uh, my previous phone was 64 gig. This is 128. Although I never actually use the 64 gig because the majority of things that I do are streamed, and so not really storing much on the device itself. I guess the camera was also a factor in my decision, but primarily it was because of the the upgrade to the physical design and going back and I guess um, a nod to the iPhone 5 design. Some may say why, if, if the physicality was the reason that you jumped to this version and yet you're going to put a case on it, which makes it slightly curved anyway, what was the point? And it's, it's true, I mean, it makes me double think my um, choice and potentially uh, buyer's remorse in that sense. But the fact that it's uh, a design update and it's got a lot, number of things that future proofs it. Um, including 5G so luckily I'm on a network that provides that not necessarily where I live but uh, in bigger cities um, I've experienced it in the closest city to me Birmingham um, and uh, I think if I head down to London it will be all blistering 5G speeds there too let's move on to the other new-ish thing I guess that's come as part of the new uh, phone releases I guess. Uh, I actually asked them if they had the sleeve as well but unfortunately they did not but luckily they had this in stock. I picked it up recently and I haven't actually opened it yet. I'm a bit disappointed I've scoffed the box there but there you go. So yeah let's have a look. Lucky this doesn't have a scratch at all. It is a sexy piece of leather to be honest from the looks of it. I'm gonna touch it up in a second Yeah 
I mean, it feels like um, the the leathers that are used for their other sleeves. So I know that they've got a sleeve for for the iPad uh, Pro, and I think they released uh, similar leathers for uh, the MacBook Pro 16 inch. Um, but it's nice. Uh, it's thicker than I was anticipating. Maybe it's this inside that is um, making me think that it's thick. But let's have a look. That's just uh, yeah, just Apple's address on there, and it's just got a bit of information of how to store your card. Surprise, surprise. I mean, I don't think it's rocket science, but. Yeah, um, yeah, it actually is a lot sturdier than I was anticipating. I thought it might be flimsy. I'm happy about that. That is some smooth. Le that is some very nice leather. Does it warrant sixty pounds? I don't know. I mean, if you go for a high-end wallet, the leather does tend to cost more. But the finishing on this is just, yeah, really nice. Let's see if it fits on the phone. Oh yeah, straight away it aligned up to where it needed to align to. I think that I could have gone for a different color, but I think the black and gold. I guess if you look at the front screen, black and gold combo black and gold on the back. I don't know what other colour would have potentially suited. I was tempted by the tan one, but um, yeah, this this doesn't look too bad. I guess it's going to take some testing in the real world to see if it becomes annoying or anything like that, but at the moment, I mean, I guess it's quite sturdy. Um, it requires some force to pull it off, but I feel as though uh, maybe if you were to slide it into your pocket, I don't know if it would potentially get caught here. Um, let's try it on with the case, let's see what that does. Yeah, it's not surprising in the sense that there's an extra layer in between, so the grip... Um, isn't as 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 much, but it's still sticking on. Oh, I just noticed as well. So if I attach it, it does that little symbol. I guess that's the MagSafe symbol. Um, yeah, I guess it adds adds that bulk, but I don't think that was going to be something that I could have avoided anyway. For me, it's a case of um, portability and just simplicity. I guess uh, as time goes on, you've got, um, uh, we're moving away from cash, but also um, the fact that there's Apple Pay on here, the number of actual physical cards needed out and about has reduced. Um, so I, I'm gonna be putting, say, my driving license and one or two cards in here. In fact, I'm just gonna go grab those and then let's see how many fit in. So yeah, I brought uh, my other wallet, my main wallet. Uh, again, as you can see, simplicity for me. Um, I don't like carrying anything bulky, so this is the Sequid um, card case. And then it just lets you pop it up like this. So let's take some of these cards. Oh, I think it's gonna fit three, so yeah. Um, So that fit three cards quite quite easily. I think that, that's probably the maximum we're going to get there, to be honest. Um, I don't know if cards vary in size, but without sort of overstuffing it, I guess maybe over time the leather would loosen up a little bit, but um, as it stands, three, three is the max. So, yeah. That's how it looks. I mean, it feels fantastic. I mean, if you are a fan of leather products, yeah, you're not going to go wrong here. And um, it feels really nice.
but again, it depends on whether you think it's uh, worth that £60 price. So moving on to the last piece of this puzzle, uh, the Apple Watch Pride Edition Nike strap. Um, I've been eyeing this up for a very long time. Um, I just, I guess, couldn't face um, this price tag, I guess, for, for a strap. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I just uh, took the plunge. I think I waited long enough for it, so it's uh, it's something that I am looking forward to seeing in real life. Let's see, let's get this unboxed. I mean, with with my Apple Watches, they've always been the Nike edition because, well, I don't know if you can get the Nike faces on. Um, the other versions, but the Nike faces and the inbuilt uh, running app is is the reason that I go for those. But um, yeah, I think the straps as well, with with the perforations, uh, really help for when I'm working out and just te I guess uh, to keep it generally quite clean as well. So um, it's another reason to go for this version. So. There we go. Very nice. Uh, I mean, I'm a ma massive fan of the colourful aspect of this. Obviously, it's uh, in aid of pride and it's a fantastic cause. But um, beyond that, it's just I'm a fan of colour. So this is uh, right up my street. What I'm going to do is show you. Um, a fake version that I had for a little while as well to show you the quality comparison. So yeah, and this is like an eBay slash Amazon jobby here. And I'd say I, um, I'd used it for a couple of months and the colour, I mean, with, with these um, non-Apple ones anyway, you only ever get the two straps. You never get the three straps. Um, but what you can see is that the colour has deteriorated over time in terms of the vividness as well. Um, it's not there anymore. I don't think even when I originally got them that they were ever that bright. So I'm hoping that considering the price point on the official one that there isn't any degradation over time and I guess uh, the testament here is well there's no colour on the original strap but uh, the quality um, still remains well it holds up really well and so let's, let's, let's change the strap anyway so uh, you may notice on my watch as well that it's a bit scuffed up. I've got a glass screen protector. Um, it's something... I'm a bit worried about taking it fully off because it's leaving like sort of remnant behind. So if anybody knows about how to get this off cleanly, then that would be very much appreciated um, so I can get a replacement. But at the moment I'm keeping it on so that it remains protected anyway. So let's change it over. detail here. It's nice to see. Apple plus night water combo, two massive American companies. Thank you. 
beautiful. on the wrist. Yeah. Happy with that. I mean it's it's a world away from this. So there we go. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, that journey with me. Um, you can see that I have a kind of loyalty to Apple in that sense, but I guess that's been there for a number of years. Um, the products just um, just do it really. No, no, <laughs> no pun intended, I guess. But um, I think I'm moving away from the ecosystem anytime soon, so it was just natural upgrade for me. Whoops. If you've got any comments, queries, questions, or even answers, because I think I asked the question as well, uh, just reach out. Uh, I'd be happy to respond or get a response anyway. But that's all for now. Cheers for watching. Oh, yeah.